All right, so I'm back with the Paul in the lab Ruby amp circuit. Um, I got some help from someone in one of the forums. Uh, they pointed out to me that the transistor was not in the right the right holes so I've had to twist the leg about. I'm going to actually write a new circuit for this, a, a new Vero circuit because the, the pull in the lab one's not accurate. Um, so this one actually works. I've changed this resistor to a one mega ohm resistor as well and the whole thing fires into life. So this is a Ruby amp circuit working. I'm going to redraw this Vero circuit uh, so that people can use this. Um, it works. It, it actually bloody works. So that's through a 0.2, a 0.25 watt speaker, and that's obviously it's nice. Like that. Now, obviously, I want a bit more grunt than that, so I've just attached the red of the speaker to um, an actual. Marshall 4x12. So this is a Ruby amp going through a Marshall 4x12. And I've got my uh, Sun Buzz pedal to give it some extra grunt as well. HM2 based chainsaw amplifier. So I'm just going to demonstrate what the, it sounds like with a HM2 on it. So basically, I want the, this sort of amp circuit maybe with an HM2 EQ so that you've got the gain and stuff on the EQ. Anyway. It's basically my Ruby amp circuit <coughs> for a HM2. And um, obviously it's got its own little built-in speaker. What I was gonna do is make it into a little portable pocket amp, uh, put a battery in it. And what I might do is have the speaker, this speaker here, but then also have an external speaker as well. So you can plug it into a four x 12 if you wanted to, or plug it into any kind of amp if you wanted to. So it's gonna have the option of being battery operated or being speaker operated um, and all of that just through this tiny little circuit so there we go uh, actually accomplished finally it's been frustrating me for so long but uh, I got there in the end <laughs> 